All right, here we are. There's the hole I fell in before. Here's some quick silver bullets I can pick up. And here's this front gate that I went by. So I originally went in there. Where's the side path take me? Since I've kind of worked, since I've worked my way back around here, I want to check this zone out. Oh, there's a hole. Looks like it goes around the back side of some of the buildings I checked out. And oh yeah, this is probably how I get to the oh. No more quicksilver bullets for me. Looks like if I hop down there, I can get some items. Do I want to go? To, let's do that right now, actually. I can work my way back around in a moment. Oh, I can go inside these buildings. Oh, my bad. This is just the quicksilver bullets from earlier. That's just some of the stuff that was on the ground. Yeah. Whoops. Get out of my way, tombstone. Get, get out of my way, tombstone. There we go. So much stuff to keep track of in my head at once, because we're still exploring one massive interconnected zone that's not not really sectioning itself off very much. Okay, so that's the quicksilver bolts I already tried to pick up. Nothing else back here. So what do we find up here? I want to find a path. Ooh, dogs and pens. Are they dead or are they asleep? Oh, they're asleep. They're sleeping. Hush, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. There we go. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Okay. Weird cave. Village crazies. Let's check that. Let's check the village first. I'll try to make a mental note of this weird cave. Cause so I want to explore it, but I also want to take care of these assholes that throw fire at me. Cause, oh no, where is it? Oh, it's the gate. The gate closed. Okay, I thought there was the spike trap again. And I was not going to be psyched about that. There's a staircase. Any, any traps in here? Bad guys? Anything bad going to happen in this room? Blue elixir. Oh, well, look look what's new there. Anything bad going to happen here? I think I'm briefly safe, although I'm hearing terrible... Oh, that's there's a, there's a crow attacking me from me through a wall somewhere. Uh, blue elixir, liquid medicine that makes still bodies undetectable. Dubious liquid medicine used in strange experiments conducted by high ministries of the, of the healing church. A type of anesthetic that numbs the brain. Hunters, able to retain consciousness by force of will, make use of a secondary effect of the medicine which dilutes their presence while standing still. So you can stand still to stealth while using that stuff. Huh. I don't know how- I don't know how much- what context that might be useful in, in PV. That might not be very useful in the campaign, but I could see that being useful in PvP purposes if it actually turns you invisible. Because if you go genuinely invisible, then people- you might be able to uh, trick other players. But I don't know if it works that way or not. Where's the birdie? There it is. There's the birdie. Bye bye birdie. Special item waits ahead. They, I assume they made up top. So I can't reach this guy because he freaking took care of the- the- the Brit- the uh, gate. Oh! Dogs why? Dogs why? Dogs why? No, no, no. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Da bad. Alright. I can fix this. Dogs are dicks. They don't even give you loot. They don't even give you that many souls, but they're surprised. They're actually more dangerous than a lot of the animals. I mean, a lot of the non-animals are. Oh, I'm behind the gate now. That wasn't very effective, dude. Really should have had a better plan. Ow! Okay, that was a better plan. Oh. Die? Gonna open this gate now. Hope you don't feel bad about it. Oh, you don't feel bad about things anymore. You dead. Yeah, that was not a very effective gate. You could just walk around it a little bit. Where does that lead to? That's the town. This is all overseeing the town. That means that's the... Oh. That's the bridge with the assholes that throw fire. The, the guy that, that just closed that, that closed that gate on me, it's probably one of the assholes that was throwing fire at me. Item. Beast roar. What is that? Oh, it's a bag asshole. What's a beast roar? Force the beast roar repels nearby foes and objects. I'll, I'll check that in a moment, but we have a immediate problem. Hey, buddy. I remember you. We've got along so great so far. You kidnapped me. I killed your leader. Or at least the weird animal you keep in your basement. You shouldn't keep animals in your basement. That's rude. They're meant. For, they're not meant for captivity. The, the dark beast is a glorious wild creature. Ow. Why do you hit so hard? Stop it. Why do you hit harder than, like, anything in the game? There are seriously bosses that hit less hard than these guys, and they're everywhere. <laughs> it's weird. Alright. Oh. 
More twin shards. Anything else in here? Not immediately. Let's check out the item. Um, I missed, did I miss it? Did I miss it? There, the beast roar. One of the forbidden hunter tools made by irreverent Izzy. Borrow the strength of the terrible undead dark beasts, if only for a moment, to blast surrounding foes back with the roar of a roaring, the force of a roaring beast. This indescribable sound is, is broadcast with the caster's own vocal cords, which begs the question, what terrible things lie, lurk deep within the frames of men? Dun dun dun. Man is the true beast. We are the true villain. Other things about King Kong and shit. He really has a death grip on that freaking bag, even though he's dead. It's incredible. I'm, I'm really impressed. What if what, this is where we find out that the, the bag is actually part of their skeleton? Like they, it's it's irre irrevocably part of their body, and they can't ever remove it. They are the bagmen of the Southern Kingdoms, or whatever the fuck. Uh, where is this gonna go? There's so many paths. I can go this way. I can go check out. The, wait, no, this is the back. This is backtracking. No, never mind. I was about to go on a tangent there. So I can go back there for the cave, or I can go this way across the bridge to fight the fire assholes. And you know, uh, I've been talking a big game about fucking up sounds. Oh, there you are. I see you. Just take care of you real quick. You, you actually made me jump. You made a noise. And you were right next to me. I couldn't tell where you were. No items on the ground around here? Alright. Hey, buddy. You have any more traps around here? Any more any more dirty deeds to play? So I'm just gonna start carving pieces off you until you talk. Oh. Turns out he was quite he was silent till the end. Is that the pit I was ha having to walk across? Have I been there? I think I've been there. Oh yeah, over there is th yeah. That's that's the fire throwing guy. That's the bridge I had to run under while they threw fire at me. These assholes over here. Hey buddy. I shoot you in the face now. Ah. Yeah. Nope. Alright, that was kind of pro, right? I got through that without getting hit a single time. <laughs> through a combination of, of shotgun blasts and dodges. I have 63,000 blood. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen the big, that big of a number. And I'm not even fighting bosses. I'm just wandering around. Whoa. Was... Oh! That's why there was fire there. It's oil. That's not water. That makes sense. So I got up here and successfully killed them, but what was the point? Oh, there's an item down here. That's like the point, I guess. But I have to hop down to get it. I'll come back for that in a moment, because I don't want to hop down quite yet. Let's check the zone. Nothing here. Dead ends all around. Alright, now we're, we're going to go check out that cave that I wrote off a moment ago. Because this this zone is has now thoroughly dead-ended itself. So let's see if the cave has, has anything cool in it, and then... We'll come back for the item that was being guarded by the Molotov people. And then from there, I'll probably return to the greater forest area and try to f continue exploring. Oh, I haven't used that ladder yet, have I? I'll do that in a second. Nope, ladder first. The ladder is probably an enclosed area. I'm hoping the cave is too, otherwise I'm going to regret not picking up that item right away. Oh, hey buddy. How's it going? Uh, stop being alive. There we go. You un oh, the white church set. Now we have a black church and a white church set. Oh. Is there like a lore difference between the white and black church people? Because the black church people are assholes. They euthanize people for being sick. And then just start wiping out everybody. Ah, I can't pick up the pebbles because I'm maxed out on pebbles now. Oh no, woe is me. What a problem to have. So there's nothing else up here. Just more, just more monsters to fight. And the white... Oh yeah, and the white church set. What am I talking about? Nothing else up here. Uh, let's go check out the white church set. I'm gonna go ahead and just equip the whole thing right here. Uh, uh, they both say the same thing. The cer so the gloves are the same for both. White church set. White church hat. That's what I look like. Yeah, he looks relatively nice. Oh god. So I heard that uh, blood only shows up on the part of your body that is exposed when you get hit when you're attacking things so I had like an open visor of, of eye area that was clear and so that parts my eyes are covered in blood but the rest of my face is clean because I was wearing that kind of equipment all right now, now let's start look at the actual equipment uh, white church garb attire of special church doctors these doctors are superiors to the black preventative hunters and specialists in experimentally backed blood ministration and the scourge of the beast 
They believe that medicine is not a means of treatment, but rather a method for research, and that some knowledge can only be obtained by exposing oneself to sickness. Oh, they, they get themselves sick to, to learn? Same text again. What about the helm? Uh, same text again. Okay. So what, what's the difference between black church and white church? Uh, black church has higher rapid poison and beast to resist, while white church has... White church has higher frenzy and slow poison to resist, but they're pretty similar items overall. Uh, looks like, as a general rule though, yeah, white church, at least the helm, has better... Uh, blood, fire, and bolt defense, but, 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 so higher, the white church has higher blood, bolt, and fire, but lower physical defense. Is that true for all of them? Nope, the chest only has better blood resistance. So it's inconsistent. So you'd probably want to mix and match these a bit. The gloves are identical. And the trousers have, are a bit mixed. Yeah, okay, so, moving on. I'm gonna put on my, my normal clothes again, and then I'm gonna go grab that item. All right, let's go ahead and grab the item that was right under the Molotov, people, because that cave could be deeper than I'm expecting for all I know. Oh, cool. That's 11 Molotovs. That's a whole lot. All right, we're going to head back out the front gate and then up to that cave to see where it leads. It could be a whole new zone or it could be a little tiny cave with, like, one thing in it. Hey, doggies. You having a nice sleeping time? Weird, their pens are open. Why are their pens open? Hidden pathways ahead. I mean, we must be talking about this one over here. So where is this going to lead to? Is it a shortcut of some kind? Is it a whole new zone? Is it a secret boss? Is it going to lead me right back to where I was earlier? There's a corpse down there. We have a bunch of weird flowers everywhere. Kind of a nice visual. Pleasing to the eye, aside from the horrible bodies in the middle of it that are very large. And possibly... They're like calcified. They're ter entirely... Turned into like... What's this? Antidote? Alright. Yeah, the bodies around here have been here a long time because some of them are super hard. That's... That'll probably just kill me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it doesn't... That's probably, like, death water. That's probably not a place you can explore. Anything else around here? Just keep going deeper. I'm sure everything will be fine because everything's always safe in this world and nothing ever goes wrong. What the... Where are we? What is that nightmare that just made my audio freak out? Um... Oh, there's multiple of them. Good. Good. What is this nightmare? Oh, cool. An item. And that's a new body. That's a brand new body. I'm a little concerned because I have so much blood right now. So we know where the giant bones were, at least. Oh, Jesus. Even the floor is poisonous. I don't know if I want to play. I don't know if I want to play here. Everything's danger, Will Robinson. Let's see, there's a triangle with like a white skull, there's a triangle pointed downwards. Is that fast poison or slow poison? Uh, slow, rapid, I'm not, it's not clear which one's which actually. Uh... Do I even want to go explore through this area? I can kind of go this way for a little bit. So one of them aggro's on me and then I'm in trouble. Those guys could be really dangerous. There's items out there. How much antidote do I have? I have some antidote. I'm just concerned about how many, how much blood I have right now. Uh. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm not trying to pick a fight. I'm just going to rest here a moment to recover my stamina. I mean, my poison status. <laughs> They're fucking nightmare creatures. What is this? No, I don't want it. There's, there's leeches. Leeches. Gross. They're hard to hit with my moveset, too. Ow, shit. Oh god, the giant is here. The giant has noticed me and he's not happy at all. He doesn't want to play. Ow, ow, no, no likey. Me go here now. Me go play, play, play now. Bye bye. Okay, this is a bad place for bad people where everyone dies. I'm going to go over here. Oh look, that's a giant right next to an item. I'm gonna grab this item real quick. More blood, coolio. Bye. Hello, leeches. Bye, leeches. Oh god. Ow. Guess who's gonna go through the cave real quick? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No lucky, no lucky, no lucky. No whammy, no whammy. Alright, I'm all healed up-ish. I'm gonna go up here. Where am I now? Did I end up back where I started? I might have ended up back where I started. Huh. How did I go in a circle? I guess I got disoriented by the attackers. So, uh, skeleton- giant 
giants are dangerous. They know nice. Oh yeah, there's the uh, the first totem thing I saw over there. So I, I genuinely went in a circle somehow. You must accept poison. <laughs> Alright, well there was another exit, so I'm gonna go for it. Running, 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 running. Don't notice me for a second, dude. I don't want to play with you. I just want this gemstone. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, leeches. How you doing? You having a good time? You like to chill axe over here? Alright. Antidote. Where am I now? Uh... Running, running, running this other way now. I thought there was like a place to go to. Oh, shit. It's full of leeches. It's full of leeches. I was hoping that would be the case. Look, an item. And more poison. There's no escape from the poison, is there? Alright. Don't mind me. Just don't, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you right now. You need to chill the fuck out. Alright, uh... The good news is... I can always get more blood vials. Uh... What am I doing here? Well, I picked up some stuff. Some of those gems might be upgrades, I guess. And I guess even though I'm te technically in the water, I'm not being poisoned right now. Was there nowhere else to go? Was the only doorway I saw off in the distance the same doorway that I came in through and I just got confused? Oh, there's a doorway. I'm not I'm not crazy. You're the one that's crazy. Ah, no. Leave me alone. There we go. Where is this going to lead me to? I was going to lose my mind if it was actually the same direction again. Alright, antidote. Heal up. Yeah, I'm not fighting those guys. I'm not fighting a bunch of giants in a place where the floor poisons me. And there's like six of them. Because that's just how you die and lose all of our current supply of blood. Is this taking me back this taking me back to the same place, right? There's an item I could have picked up. Yeah, I already grabbed that. But there's an upward ramp, right? So that's that's probably taking me somewhere new. Oh, a ladder. Where do you go, buddy? Where do you go? Do I wanna do I wanna check this item this thing first? Reminiscent of snake. What is reminiscent of snake? Is it just an actual snake? Because that's not very reminiscent. I've seen a lot of snakes around here. I wouldn't say reminiscent of snake. This is a very large ladder. You look at those giant corpses everywhere. Wow, just like I saw. And they're calcified as fuck. This is a long, this is a long ladder. Is it time to start singing Snake Eater? Nope, we're getting up there over time. Anyone bad gonna fight me? Where are we? We're in a structure now. What is this gonna lead to? Is it gonna be familiar or new? Hopefully it's gonna lead me to a lamp, because I haven't seen a lamp in like 90 minutes now, I think. I could really use a checkpoint of some kind for my 65,000 souls. That'd be swell. Where in the... what? What? This is the beginning of the game, isn't it? If I'm gonna open that gate, it's gonna be the beginning of the game. There's also a door over here. Cold dew. That's the opening courtyard, isn't it? It is. Wow. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find the clinic, like, right over there. I should go talk to him about the guy I sent there. They probably made it in. Hearing noises. Oh, right, because right up there, there's an axe guy that patrols back and forth. Wow. Am I really at the clinic? Oh my god. So I, I continue to be surprised by how everything links back together. There's two bodies here. Alright, so, I, may, I mean, I technically found a lamp. P part of the problem is I don't, I don't, I still don't want to go back to the Hunter's Dream yet, though, because I still have, uh, I, st I still, uh, I want to explore that forest without all the enemies respawning so I can tell where I've been before. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. He's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank. The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear, find me some more. Yeah, she's probably up to no good, but that guy was also probably not trustworthy, and if I sent him... If I sent that guy back to the, uh... What am I trying to say here? If I sent that guy back to... I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. To the, uh... To the chapel, he probably could have gotten some people killed. So I didn't really want to risk that, necessarily. 
I was not expecting to end up here. All right, I'm gonna head back to the forest area with the snakes, and we're gonna figure out where to go next, I suppose. Holy shit. That's bad. So I just died with all my souls, and apparently the dogs respawn, so I, I guess I must have... I think it dropped the load anyway, so everyone's back. Oh god. So I'm gonna try to get my stuff back, hopefully, and I'm gonna go level up, because I believe that means everyone's back. Well, I'm dead now, so now everyone's definitely back anyway. Well, that's a bummer. If you walk too far away from a zone, everyone respawns. Exploring that forest is gonna be a pain, because I, <laughs> I didn't find any actually find anything when I was there. All right, we've made it back into town. Let's go ahead and use our blood-related items to sort of get a full tally of what kind of stu stuff we have in our inventory right now. Which is the ah, I for did not use. I forgot to use use multiple. Oh well. Oop. There we go. Blam! Six thousand. And the last one. So we're looking at eighteen hundred blood. Let's look into upgrading our weapon because we definitely can at this point. The question is just how many times for do I fire weapon? Threaded cane plus four. It's becoming it's going to become a plus five next, giving it uh its main damage is going to increase by seven, and its bonus damage is going to increase by five. Alright. Get in there, so it's gonna five, cost five shards, and then the question is now whether we're gonna still use the same item, or if it's gonna switch to the different upgrade item. Oh, still the same upgrade tier. Now it is upgrade, now it needs, uh, what is it, needs eight out of 18, I think, so we can still do it again. Now it's gonna go from 13 to 120. It's bonus damage increasing by six, and scaling increasing slightly. Keep going. Now we need stone, bloodstone chunks. Okay. So we're all done with shards for this weapon now. It's as far as it's going to take me, but man. That's a, that's a significant upgrade of damage. Might as well upgrade the blunderbuss, just because, why not? We have the resource to do it at least once. Do it twice. Alright, now we need six more to do it again. But they've been showering us with that stuff, so we'll probably find it too. Repair weapons, don't need to, because we were they were repaired in that process. Threaded cane. I think it now has a third slot? It does, okay. Got a third slot from the upgrade, so... This one is... 0.7% physical attack. Uh, arcane attack increases by 10%. Oh, wow. Oh. It makes you do arcane damage. Interesting. So, I think that means that it would, it, your, it would scale your arcane stat instead of your skill stat. So, obviously, it's terrible for me, but... It's interesting to know you can do that. Nourishing, uh, oh, just attack up by 9%? Absolutely. Uh, add rapid poison effect of 9.6. Huh. There's reasons why that could be handy, but I think I'm gonna just go for a straight attack boost, because that's an attack boost of 18. That's a significant improvement right there. This weapon's becoming super powerful. So we have the Tempering Bloodstone. So the same thing as the thing down here. Oh no, th this one doesn't have the physic attack up. Do I have anything that's significantly better? See, this is a uh, physical attack by 7.3%. That's a lot, actually. Do I have anything better? 8.4%. That's a that's a boost. Now we're up to plus 89. Anything that's going to take it higher? I can add slow and fast. Wow, here's a here's a uh, slow poison effect, and the other one's going to be. Uh, fast poison effects, so if I wanted to do poison effects, I definitely could. But I think I'd rather just do more damage in general. I'm sure I can upgrade this one. This is the one that does uh, 5.3. Here's 7.3 plus that. That's the one I just unequipped, but I can equip it again in this slot, which was previously weaker. I think I'm just going to go for pure damage. This will be handy, because I've been a little underpowered since I'm using the threaded cane in the first place. How about the hunter blunderbuss? Currently has the red gem in it. Yeah, we're not fighting... We're not fighting guns, gun slots really, although we don't have much need for it because they don't seem to be very effective to begin with. So now, I do a whopping 219 damage. So this thing's getting more powerful over time. Still can't use this, can I? No. One day I'll be able to use my runes and that'll become even more powerful. So, we have a lot of insight. What can I do from here? Uh, I can buy bolt paper and pungent uh, blood cocktails, which we knew about. Shards. Anything new? Any new equipment? Nope. 
Nothing significant new here, so I'm gonna hold on to my insight for now. What about down here? Can I buy anything new significantly? Uh, oil urns. You could be like, blammo, I have 50, wow. That's how rich I've become. I can buy 53 oil urns. That thing that I've been so, that's been so scarce in the past. Could be handy for another number of reasons for boss fights. I want, I probably want to buy, I probably want to go level up first though, before I go buying other stuff, just to see what my cap is. Cause the high, every, every time I level up, it costs more each time. So I end up with more stuff that qualifies as being, basically being spare change. Let's sell. Yeah, I have normal stone shards. I don't need these anymore. So whenever I get them, I just throw them away because they're a good way of getting another thousand uh, experience. Welcome. So with my massive total of 73,000, let's see what I can get away with here. So I can increase vitality by three to the soft cap. So it increases by 30 each time. I think it's... Th okay, 30. This is 70. That goes... That's an increase of 32. Wait, is it actually getting... Is it increasing faster? It's actually increasing faster after 25. So I was wrong about the cap for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six. I can increase my level six times. I think I might go for 25. That's a hundred more vitality. I mean, uh, health almost. Then it's skill. What if I poured it all into skill? Will it start getting more powerful? Let's see. If I poured it all into skill, I would gain 10 attack. And for both of my uh, elements there too. I don't know, it might be good to just go further into skill. I haven't put points into skill for a while. My weapon just became more powerful and got better scaling, so it might be good, a good approach. Oh well, I'm gonna commit to it. Blammo! I haven't, I haven't made myself do more damage for a while, so... This weapon upgrade mixed with this skill upgrade should be pretty significant. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. So I'm gonna spend the rest here at the store. So, I'm actually stocked up a little bit on blood vials. I'm not doing too bad. If I want to, I could buy 11 more. But what I'm really tempted to do is stock up on something that I don't have so much of. See, I have a bunch of Molotov cocktails now. If I stock up on oil urns, which I'm doing right now, blam! When we fight certain bosses in the future, I might be able to do a lot of damage to them very quickly. We're still maxed out on Quicksilver. Let's buy a blood vial with what's left. There we go, and now we're, now we're pretty much capped out. The only thing I can buy is Quicksilver bullets, but that's that's pointless. I'm gonna find more faster than I use them. That that always happens. So buying more is dumb. So we're pretty much set at this point. I'm gonna take a break because it's getting pretty late, and unfortunately that forest has now reset. So I have to go, go go through and kill a bunch of snakes again in my attempt to even try to find where the hell I was going. I kind of just went in circles for a while, and to be fair, there was like no sense of where I was trying to go really because it was just. A big forest of nothing, but thanks for watching guys like always. I'll see you next time. We're now level 46 and we're do we're pretty set up to do a lot of damage here. And we we what do we have what how many bosses have we beaten now? F five I think we've beaten five normal bosses and three chalice dungeon dungeon bosses for a total of eight bosses. That's a pretty big deal. In this particular day that I'm recording this, which is uh this is Monday, the 30th, uh, I, when I woke up this morning, I only had three bosses down and I beat five today. So I think I deserve a break. Thanks for watching. Like always guys, see you next time. Oh man, this game's, this game's actually a blast. Oh, careful. Let's not kill any important people.